The story of John chapter 4 begins with the Lord Jesus Christ going to Samaria. And the Bible tells us that he must needs go to Samaria, said it. Ibig sabihin, there is actually a great need. That's why when he went to Samaria, the Samaritan woman was surprised. Why did the Lord, being a Jew, would stop by Samaria and sit by sit by the well of Jacob. In verse number 3 and 4 of John chapter 4, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee and he must needs go through Samaria. Now he could just have hop along and uh, pass by it, forget all about it, and just go to where he's going. But the Bible tells us that there is a great need for him to go to Samaria. And there are times uh, when you are traveling and going to a certain place, and then all of a sudden you begin to remember you have to pass by this place. So what do you do? If you're in a highway, you're going to exit that place and you're going to go to the place you would like to go because there's a need. The same thing with the Lord Jesus Christ. What need? Because he must talk to that Samaritan woman. He must go there. He must sit on the well. He had to ask that woman a drink in the well. Then he had to tell him, to tell her of the springs of living water in which she will not in any way drink anymore. And then you would notice that uh, even though the Lord Jesus Christ told the woman, don't tell this to anybody. Don't tell this to anyone. Did you know what the, Lord, what the woman did? The Bible says in verse number 28, the woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and say it to the men. And what happened afterwards? In verse 39, and many of the Samaritans of the city believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified, he told me all that ever I did. And then, of course, again in verse number 35, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. He began to speak to his own disciples. He began to make use of his uh, experience with the Samaritan woman. Why? Well, because, you know, even the apostles will have some reservations on Christ. Why the Lord Jesus Christ, being a Jew, would go and talk to a Samaritan when the Bible even says that the Jews do not have any dealings with the Samaritans. Yet he went there. He had to explain 
to his own disciples that need. The need of telling others of himself, the need of being able to witness to others, even if those others are complete strangers and do not have any kinship or relationship with him. But he must go. He must tell. He must preach. He must reach out. He must share. So, when he was talking to his own disciples, he began to use the illustration of the harvest. And I think it's true here in the Philippines also that every time you plant palai, you wait for about three to four months until the harvest time comes, isn't it? And the Lord Jesus Christ made use of that illustration. He said, you know what? There's still four months and the harvest will come. But I want you now to lift up your eyes and look on the fields for they are white already to harvest. Now, of course, this is more of a figure of a speech. It's figuratively speaking. The Lord Jesus Christ was actually telling his own disciples, I'd like you to lift your eyes and look at the people around you. Many of them do not know what salvation means. Many of them have not heard the gospel. Many of them do not know me. Look at those people. They are just like the harvest field. Look at them because they are white already to harvest. Ibig sabihin, panahon na. Huwag na tayong magdili-dali pa. Huwag na tayong, you know, uh, try to uh, hold the rope. Uh, Puntahan na natin yung mga yan because they're white. You know, when you speak of white unto harvest, ang pinakamagandang panahon ng harvest time, kung yung palay ay kulay dilaw. Do you realize that? The same thing in, 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 in the time of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's talking about the wheat. But when the wheat is overripe, it becomes white. It becomes white. Later on, you're going to understand why this is so. We are need, now living in the time that when we look at people, they overripe. They are white already to harvest. And once they fall to the ground, it will be too late for us to reach them. Ibig sabihin yan, once they die, it will be too late for us to be able to reach them. Now, the Lord wants us to see this now, folks. Because so many times, you know, I will never accuse of any one of us here to not, uh, for not caring. All of us care. Di ba? All of us care for the lost. All of us care when we see a man that is lost in sin. All of us do that. But we seem to forget we seem to forget that we are not living in normal times anymore. We seem to forget that even the life, the lifespan of people has changed. We seem to forget that people do not live to 120 years anymore. We seem to forget that people, it's very even hard for people to be able to live for 70 years. And we seem to forget the same thing with us. Same thing with us. How many of you today, perhaps you're 40 years old, you're 50 years old, and you think you're going to reach 70 like me? See? Yun ang pinabanggit dito ng Panginoon. Lift up your eyes and look on the fields. 
Look at those people. Look at them walking in the streets of Jerusalem. Look at them walking in the streets of Galilee. Look at them fishing. Look at them working. Look at them uh, preparing the field. Do you know what you see? You see lost people, lost people, that if we will not give time for them to speak to them about the word of God, they will die not knowing Christ. Now, let's go to John chapter 9. In John chapter 9, we have the story of a blind man from birth. The Lord Jesus Christ passed by in verse 1. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And he has disciples on one side and the Pharisees on the other side. And the disciples were wondering what the Lord Jesus Christ would do. And the Pharisees were waiting how they can be able to accuse Christ of doing something. Then, in verse number four, he says, I must work the works of him that sent me. Now, I'd like you to look at the word must. It's just like the word needs. I, I, I must needs go to Samaria. Look at that. They're the same. The same. The importance of doing it. The necessity of it. Kita niya? Oh. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Una, sinabi niya, tinan mo yung mga tao? They're white. They're overripe. They must be rich with the gospel now. And pangalawa, sinabi niya, the night cometh when no man can work. You look at this pandemic today, what does it tell you? Does the pandemic tell you that life is easy? No. And I do not care if... Uh, you do not even get the virus. Still, you will agree with me that life is not easy. Actually, it's, it, it is as if, it is as if that you have the virus too. Do you realize that? One thing I say, ay salamat. Ay salamat. Wala akong virus. But you look, huh? even if people don't have the virus, they're getting hungry. Amen? Oh. The barangay officials have problems now. Oh. You see? Yung matanggal to, ha? Ang gili mo nga na. Yeah. That's why I called them yesterday. And more than a hundred of them were there. And I have to give them something. I have to give them one caban of rice for their frontliners. I have to give them some money for them to be able to do what they can do. But that's not even enough. I just would like to let you know, folks, if you're if you do not even feel the necessity of this, kung hindi mo nararamdaman ang pangangailangan, hindi mo nakikita ang nangyayari, sapagkat ang nakikita mo lang, pamilya mo eh. Di ba? Ang nakikita mo yung sarili mo. Ang nakikita mo lang yung gawain mo. Gusto kong, I, I want you to look at the panora panoramic view of these things. Open your eyes, the Lord says. Open your eyes. Lift them up. Don't just look at the needs of your family 
of your home. At your own need, forget it. Open your eyes. Because out there, there are millions upon millions of people that are lost and going to hell. And if we're not going to reach them, who will? Do you realize that? I mean, you know, uh, kayong mga nasa live streaming. Oh. Kayong mga nakikinig sa akin sa live streaming. Lumalabas ba kayo para mag-witness? Lan na kinausap nyo para sa Panginoon. You enjoy the songs. You enjoy the message. And you know, I would oftentimes would get some comments. I have been blessed. You know what John MacArthur said? Huh? Sabi niya, you know, if you only come to the Ecclesia to get blessed, to get blessed, that is selfishness. You come to the Ecclesia not to get blessed, but to worship God. Iba yun eh. Hindi ba? But to worship God. You get out of the Ecclesia to witness for God. You come in the Ecclesia to worship God. You get out to witness for God. It's not being blessed. Because being blessed is already there. Do you realize that? And God is telling us, Hey, listen. You listen well. Don't be too selfish with yourself that you only come to God's, to my house to, 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 to get blessed. No, you come to my house to worship me and you get out of my house to witness for me. Is that our job? Yes. Are we doing it? No. You were, you, you were a witness, Jimmy. When I called three batches of Barangay chairman here in the Ecclesia, and every batch of them, I shared the word of God. I cannot, in a way, let them go out of this building without me telling them of their need of salvation. I cannot do that. I'll be guilty all my life. I'm speaking right now to you on what the Word of God tells me. And you know what does the Word of God tell me? And these are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Nasabi ng Panginoon sa akin, Bene Abante, look here. You look at those people, look at those people. Huh? You know, the other day, before the start of the ECQ, Okay. They thought that there will be vaccination. Nakita niyo isang lugar diyan, punong-puno ng tao. They are they, they they want to have the vaccination. They want to be vaccinated. But you look at those people, how many of them do you think are saved? How many of them could you be able to count each one of them if they know Christ as their savior? So many times, you know, we only think of our own health. We only think of our own need. We only think of our own work. We only think of our own business. We seem to forget that there's a greater responsibility that God gave us as his own children. Why? Because if you're not God's child, he is not giving you this responsibility. You do you realize that? Kung hindi ka anak ng Diyos, kalimutan mo sa nasabi ko. Pwede ba? Kalimutan mo. Hindi para sa iyo to eh. 
Sapagkat yung sinasabi ko sa inyo ay para lamang sa mga anak ng Diyos. Yung nakatikim ng pagpapala ng kaligtasan. Yung nakaalam ng kaligtasan. Yung nakatikim ng pagbabago ng buhay. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa atin, you experience that, you are a recipient of that, you share that to others. You cannot let your own mouth shut off. Music? God does not need music. He has millions of angels who can sing for Him. Do you realize that? Do you realize that? God needs you to work for Him. To serve Him. Money. Do you think God needs money? No, He does not. But you know why He's telling us to give? So that our giving will be used for His glory. Will be used to communicate the gospel to others. I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Now, folks, listen. I have to say this again to you. I believe this to be true. I believe that we are now living in the 11 o'clock hour. We have very little time. And there are still millions of people out there that have not heard the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have a responsibility. These chairs are not being occupied by people that wants to be blessed. These chairs are being occupied by people that want to worship God. In this pandemic, in what we are experiencing now, and you know what? Sabi ko sa inyo, mas maganda pa na bumagyo ng Yolanda ng isang araw kaysa magkaroon ng pandemic ng more than one year. Ano ba ako? Kung pagpipiliin ako, Ilan na namatay sa mundong ito? Ilan na ang namatay sa pandemic? Ilan na namatay sa Pilipinas? Do you think that all of those that died in this pandemic still, still has any hope to know Christ? No. They died in that pandemic and if they're not saved, they are in hell right now. Do you, real, do, do you ever realize that? That's why, you know, I would always emphasize in this pulpit the need to reach out to others. I mean, you're sitting pretty in your chair right now, and even those of you that are live streaming, you're just sitting right in your own houses. Doing what? Are you doing things for God? Are we doing things for people? That's the reason why I said in our meeting, you know what I said? I don't, I don't even care if you tell those people What they, will, that what they should hear even if they get offended. I 
I mean, I taught you how to speak to people. We have the operation go here and everything like this. And, 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 and uh, uh, we, we tell you all of the words that you should say, no? That, 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 that people would listen to you. In this pandemic, sa akin, hindi na kailangan yun eh. Sa akin, in this pandemic, pag nakausap mo yung tao, ikaw ba, pag mamatay ka, alam mo na ikaw ay ligtas patungo sa langit? Ganun na lang yun eh. Am I right? Either ang sagot dyan, oo, o hindi, o hindi ko alam. Pag namimili ka pa ng salita na baka magalit sa akin, hindi magalit. Baka ma-offend, o di ma-offend. Look at this now. Look at all of that. The, all of the things that you see here are not for ourselves. These are for others. But you know who will bring this to others? It's all of us. Di ba? Hindi naman to aalis dito eh. Kung hindi kayo mismo pupunta yan para kumuha. Am I right? Ano, ano, magiging, ano magiging pakinabang natin sa Panginoon? Di ba? Kung nga sabihin mo lang naligtas ka, pero wala kang gagawin para sa Kanya. Ano ang pakinabang mo sa Diyos? Kung nga sabihin mo lang, ako'y pinatawad ng kasalanan ko, praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen. Pero hindi mo ginagamit ang buhay mo, ang salita mo, ang alam mo para sabihin sa iba, na maligtas din na katulad mo. Baka ang iba sa inyo, kaya, 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 kaya kayo nandirito, iba pa motibo mo. Eh. Some of you are here for somebody else. Then you're not here for God. You're here for somebody else. Oh. Kapag wala yung somebody else na mahalaga-mahalaga sa'yo, wala ka din eh. Anya ka ba? Kagabi, sinabi ko sa meeting natin that when people come forward, use altar na ito. And I lead them to pray. Tumutulong na ako sa inyo para ibigay ang dalawang verse for assurance. Am I right? Oh, anong sabi ko? If you want to witness, if you want to, if you want to counsel, you have to memorize the scriptures. You should know. Hindi yung ikaw ay nagka-counsel dyan, nangangapa ka. Kaya kinakailangan, kinakailangan lumapit ka sa taong malapit na malapit para kausapin mo. Hindi naman kinakailangan eh. Bakit? Hindi ang salita mo ang nagko-convict ng tao. Hindi ang salita mo nagko-convert sa tao, ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya nga dapat kinakailangan, andyan yung salita ng Diyos palagi. Di ba? Oo. Kumuha ka dalawang upuan. Lagyan mo rito. Kuha mo ako ng John and Romans. Palagay mo kaya, kung kakausapin mo in counseling ang nag-forward dito, ha? kinakailangan lumapit ka ng gusto para marinig ka? Hindi. Handa ka na eh, di ba? Oo. Oh. Nasabihin mo lang sa kanya, 
Kaibigan, alam ko lumapit ka sapagkat nakilala mo. Nakilala, na, nais mong makilala ang Panginoon, di ba? Naunawa mo yung mensahe, correct? Anong sabi ng salita ng Diyos? Oh. Romans 3.23 Binibigyan mo na sa kanya eh. Ano nakalagay sa Romans 3.23? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Kahit sa labas, wag, wag, na, wag na rito. Sa labas na lang. You practice social distancing. Commemorize mong scriptures. Commemorize mo ah, scriptures. You only have to show him what the scripture say. You know what I'm saying? Eh, hindi yung mga ngapaka sapagkat ni hindi mo alam kung saan mo bubuksan. Oh. Halika dito, ito ka, maupo ka. Halimbawa, nasa kalye ako, meron akong katabi o nakasakay ako, for example. Sabihin ko, kaibigan ako si Benny Abante. Ito, matagal pa naman tayong bababa, di ba? Saan ang punta mo? Oh. Ah, ilang minuto. Ah, kuro mga 20 minutes pa. Pwede ba akong bigyan ng 10 minutes? Tama? 10 minutes. Habang nakupo tayo rito, mayroon ako nasabihin sa iyo, mahalaga, mahalaga. Saan sabihin niya? Pwede, di ba? 10 minutes lang eh. Pwede. Mahalaga, mahalaga sabihin. Di ba? Pwede. Ano ba ang sabi ng Biblia? Tayong lahat, mga kasalanan. Yan, nakalagay sa Romans 3.23. Oh. Nakita, nakakita ako nung isang member natin. Eh. Nakalagay sa Roma. Eh, Bible lang hawak niya. Sabi niya, alam mo nakalagay sa Romans 3.23. Oh. Ano, pinapanood siya ng tao. Eh. Diba? Diba? Pinapunod siya ng tao. Hindi, pinasasabihin ng tao. Hindi, hindi alam sa nasabi nito eh. You do not even need to come near. I mean, you just, ayan, may dala ka. May dala kang John and Romans. Dala mo yan. O Bible mo. That's the reason why every day you ought to have your Bibles with you eh. Di ba? Yun ang ugali ng ating members eh. Hindi mo nakakalimutan ang pitaka mo Hindi mo nakakalimutan ng bag mo. Hindi mo nakakalimutan ng makeup mo. Pero nakakalimutan mo yung Bible mo. Kayo mga lalaki, hindi nyo nakakalimutan yung makeup nyo eh. Pero nakakalimutan mo yung Bible. Di ba? The simple as that, folks. Just realizing, ha? Huh? Okay. I have to work for God while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work so that when I talk to a man like this, listen. Sinasaya mo sa kaisipan mo. Lapit ang gumabi. Wala na pagkakataon para kausapin kita. Ito na. Oo. So ano sabi? Romans 3.23. Siya nga pala. Ako si Bene Abante. Ikaw sino? Oo. Okay. Fog. Ano sabi si Romans 3.23? De, ako mga sabi, for all have sinned. Di alam niya, na alam mo, and come short of the glory of God. Ganyan kalayo. Pwede ba yun? Hindi. Pwede yun eh. Thank you. You know, when you're counseling with a person here, you only need to show him four verses on assurance. Apat lang. 
you do not need to give him the li- a litany of verses. Apat lang. John 1.12, Second Corinthians 5.17, 1 John 1, 12, di ba? 12 ba yun? 9? 1 John 1, 9? Am I right? Oh. And, wag na alis doon. 1 John 5, 13. Apat. Kung hawak mo yung Bible mo. 1 John 5, 13 is a very good verse to use for what? For assurance of salvation. One of the best verses to use. Bakit? Kasi nakalagay doon, These things have I written unto you that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And only few questions. Do you believe in the name of the Son of God? Do you believe in Jesus Christ to be your Savior? Yes, sir, I believe. Have you prayed to accept Christ into your own heart? Yes, I did pray. Do you believe that Christ can save your soul? Yes, I believe in that. You know what the Bible says? These things, the Bible is written unto you so that ye may know. Hindi yung you may hope so. But you may know. Di ba? That's the reason why I always say, do not forget this date. Because in this day, something great happened to you. You only need four verses of assurance. That's it. And when you witness to him and you counsel with him to talk about baptism, to talk about baptism, you only need two. Two verses on baptism. The most would be three. And usually, you use that verse in Acts chapter 2, verse number 41. Am I right? Oh, di ba? They that gladly received His word were what? Were baptized. Tanong lang ito eh. Did you gladly receive the Lord? Were you glad today that you came to know Christ? Yes. If you are glad that you came to know Christ. You should be glad also that Christ wants you to be in his ecclesia and the only way is for you to get baptized. They that gladly received his word were baptized. You can use the story of Christ in his baptism. You can use in the book of Romans on the Ethiopian eunuch when he got baptized. Yun lang. It's over. Now that you have come to know Christ as your Savior, now that you know that you're saved and going to heaven, would you gladly would you gladly obey God in the waters of baptism? Because if you will say it now, somebody will baptize you right in the baptistry. You can be a part of God's ecclesia. Pag sinabi niyang yes, okay. Pag sinabi niyang no, let him go. Di ba? Because we're not forcing you. It's up to you. Listen here, folks. We don't have much time. 
And we ought to use what time is left for us. You have no time to witness, but you have time to give out the gospel truck. Am I right? You are in a hurry because you still have some work to do. It will not take you one minute to hand a gospel truck to someone. Time is running out. Anyone that thinks, well, this pandemic must become worse before it can become better. Well, I am not going to use that statement to make myself feel good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, we are going to experience this phase. Oh, yes, it become worse, but later on it will become better. I'm not going to use that to make myself feel good. What if it is not true? What if, look, huh? they have been asking me, do you think that this ACQ will be extended? Huh? If we do not go below that 10,000 mark, if we do not go back to 6,000, this will be extended. It will be extended from August 20 to August 30. And still, if nothing happens, it can be extended from September 1 to September 15. Oh, will you still be here? I'll still be here. Amen? I'll still be worshiping my God. I'll still be serving Him. I mean, well, pastor, you know, sinusunod lang namin kayo. Sabi niyo sa amin, uh, stay at home. Eh. <laughs> yes. Stay at home. But number one, please take note. Witnessing to a man about his salvation is an essential service. Tama mali. Number two, even if you think that you, are, you have comorbidity, you have some health issues, you can always use digital platform to tell others about Jesus Christ. And it is best for you to do it in a personal way. You just do not post, uh, post it on Facebook and you think that people will be saved. Don't do that. You know that every day, baka itong si, itong aking kaibigan na si Kuya Ed Sarto, nakasama kong host, ha? sa kongreso ng service, baka, you know, napapagod na niyang marinig palagi yung aking invitation to know Christ. Narinig niyo yung aking, aking devotion? It's always invitation to know Christ. Always knowing Christ in your own life. Always receiving Christ as your Savior. Pero pagkatapos ng devotion ko, sinasabi, kailangan, kailangan po na. That's why I'm praying. I am praying. He might even be listening right now. I am praying that truly he will come to know Christ as his Savior and be saved. You say, well, sinabi ko na sa kanya eh. Sasabihin ko ba uli? Well, have you heard of George Whitfield? George Whitfield, for many months, only has one message, John chapter 3. Many months. Every time he goes to the pulpit, for many months, wala siyang preaching na iba. Ako, iba-iba preaching ko araw-araw, di ba? Pero siya, many months ang kanyang preaching. John chapter 3. Ye must be born again. Naasar na yata yung isang diko niya eh. Tinanong na siya eh. Sabi niya, Pastor Whitfield, you know, 
we're getting tired of listening to the same message you bring to us every Sunday. Why? Why do you have to repeat and repeat and repeat that message? Ye must be born again. Do you know his classic answer? Because ye must be born again. Listen, folks. Don't you ever get tired of listening to the gospel message. And don't you ever get tired of telling others about the gospel message. And I thank God that some of you people don't stop doing that. I mean, you have your own uh, care group. You have your own uh, uh, digital platform uh, uh, evangelism thing. You have your own. Do that. Kausap ko si Jimmy nung isang araw, di ba? Ang sabi ko kay Jimmy, Jimmy, nakikita, yung mga, nakikita mo yung mga chairman natin? Kailangan nila ng Panginoon eh. Kailangan nila ang Panginoon sa Kristo eh. Isa-isahin natin. Isa-isahin natin. Kaya hindi isa-isa ko. Kasi in a crowd like that, a hundred chairman, or oh, you're going to prison world, all of them will pray. Isa-isahin mo. Then you can be sure if they truly have received Christ to be their Savior. Narinig niyo yung sinasabi ko? Nakikita niyo ba yung puso ko dito? My goodness, we, we do not have a lot of time anymore, folks. I mean, you know, you can get so busy with your own thing. But do not forget to have time to tell others of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wala akong nakikita sa Facebook ko na pinopost ninyo. I received, I witnessed to someone today. I've never seen you do that, Razel. I've never seen you post in my Facebook account. You start doing that. Do you hear me? Because I'm posting. I'm posting. I mean, you full-time staff, you with the you, you preachers, you con, you you full-time preachers. You ought to start doing it before anyone would. Why? Because I'm doing it myself. Kung hindi ko ginagawa ito, I'm not, I will never tell you to do it. Di ba? Oh. You bang follow me for I follow Christ. And you don't even, sa lahat ng mga chat groups natin, ha, andyan yung devotion ko. Tama? And I even told you to write all those things. Are you doing that? I, I would like to encourage you and, and, and challenge you. Not for you to, you know, to feel blessed or for you na para kang maging mabango ka kay pastoro para malaman nila may ginagawa ka. Pero no, pag naglagay ka sa Facebook ng ganon, you are also encouraging others to do likewise. You're motivating others to do it. Why? Because you're doing it. Am I right? Eh kung ano-ano yung pinagkasabi sa Facebook eh, wala namang katuturan eh. Oh, bakit ko bakit ko nilalagay yung pag-exercise ko? Para sabihin mo sa akin, ganda naman ng TikTok mo, pastor. Hindi. I'm putting it there so I could be able to encourage others to exercise. Now, 
How many now are exercising? 149 people are doing it. And by the way, who won this first thing? Huh? Edwin Pasqual of Bari, Italy won with more than 32,000 yata, um, or 32 million. Wow, I, I forgot. How many? How many? Huh? Two million? Oh, I'd like to say it now. In Italy, you price kasiyo, you will receive 10,000 pesos from me. Kala niyo ba yung, yung pag-post ko sa Facebook? Nagpapakita ko ng hindi. Ini-encourage kita. Ikaw. Ikaw. Mag-exercise ka. Taas-taas na ng kreatinin mo, hindi ka pa nag-exercise. Naunawa niyo ba ako? Bakit ako? Ba't magtsatsaga ako na mag-post sa Facebook na ko ano-ano? Sa totoo lang, naihiya ako eh. Pinapanood ko yung ito, ito. Pinost niya eh. Yung... Ako, nakakahiya para itong ginagawa kong ito ha. Habi ko, pero you know what? I'm doing it to encourage you people, especially you who have health issues to exercise, to take time, because that is good for you. You know, I use my, my, my motorcycle to drive from Alabang Hills to here yesterday. Shadong mahangin. And I didn't realize I was averaging 100 kilometers per hour. You know what people told me? I only know of very few people who have reached 70 that can still drive that. By the grace of God, people, the reason why I'm able to stand here before you and still being able to preach with all my might is what? Because I have listened to my Lord to discipline myself so I can live longer. Ganon din sa soul winning eh. Why, why don't we do it? Why don't, you know, uh, for example, like you're uh, waiting in, 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 in the bus stop and then, you know, you gave out gas to some people and you took pictures of it. That's fine. Post it on Facebook. And you will see thousands of them seeing that. Uy, nag-witness to. Uy, nag-share to ng gospel. You will be able to encourage someone to do it also. I'm so glad na yung mga yapis, yung mga iba dyan that have their own evangelistic program in digital platform, they're showing it. Fine. Why? Because I want everyone to be encouraged. We do not have much time anymore. The night cometh when no man can work. Lift up your eyes and look on the fields. For there they are white already to harvest. Iba sa inyo mga mga tagal na member dito na ang kinokontakt nyo palagi, yung mga hindi na members dito na nag sa akin. Ang kontakin nyo mga hindi save. Akala nyo ba hindi ko alam? You maintain friendship with some members of this Agusia who got out from here, they will not come back. And I don't want them to come back. 
your duty is huh? to use your phone, use your Twitter account, use your Facebook account, use your messenger to contact someone who is not saved and witness to him. Why? We do not have much time. The night cometh when no man can work. So stand. No, I'm not. I'm not asking you to use all of your time doing it. No. I am just asking everyone, please take time. It might just be 30 minutes of your time every day or one hour of your time every day, but please, I beg of you, I plead with you for the sake of lost souls. Take time. You men should be first in the altar and tell God, I'm sorry, Lord. I have not given time. And the rest of you, it's up to you. <laughs>